Hi, welcome to Crafty Little Things. I'm Andrea. Uh, thank you for joining me today. It is so hot today, <laughs> and here I am making Christmas cards. It just seems like a crazy con concept, but oh well. Okay, so this Christmas card is part of my the challenge from Joy of Sets to make a card every week. I don't even know if I've made that challenge up or if that was the challenge, but I know there's an album on the Joy of Sets. You've heard me talk about it all before. Um, and we're putting Christmas cards every week in between now and Christmas to give inspiration. I'm going back to Merry Mistletoe, which was a stamp set from last year. I think this was a pre-release. Was this the pre-release last year? I can't remember. Anyway, um, it was very popular. And there is a similar, there's a little stamp here that's kind of similar to this one that's in the new paper. Um, this new paper stack is called, I think it's called Merry Mistletoe as well. Um... Let me just check. Oh, is it Mistletoe Memories or something? I, I even thought that this might have still been current, but it's not. Um, but there is a stamp with this. Let me just show you because I didn't want to waste any time on this project. I wanted to whiz through it and now I've ended up digressing as usual. Let me find the DSPs. Right, so the Christmas one then is here. It's under the mistletoe designer series and it's really nice. And then, um, I remember Christmas pages are around 90, the late 90s, yeah. And there's this one, Mistletoe Season. And it's got this stamp set in which kind of mirrors what's on the paper there. But this one's got it a similar from last year as well. I'm not going to be using that <laughs> as it happens, but anyway, I just thought I'd tell you anyway. So all I've used is this Merry Christmas here and this um, stamp here. And what I did, I did the Merry Christmas in Night of Navy, and then that I just used my stamping markers, um, stamping mark, stamping right, um, and I just coloured in the leaves green and the bow and the berries red. And then I just stamped that. So that's for that sentiment. Um, whew, gosh, it's so hot. Right, so for the card itself then, um, I'm using Night of Navy, which is a current colour. And what you need, I'm doing a 5x5, five five, so you need a 10 inch by 5 inch piece of Night of Navy. Um, that's 12.7 centimetres by 25.4 centimetres. And I'm just going to burnish that. Then I've just used a piece of scrap Whisper White. It's got something else printed on the side, but it doesn't matter. And that measures four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths squared. So that's 12.4 centimeters. And I'm just gonna secure that with some Tombow. I always use my mistakes for um, layers and mats because Nobody's going to peel them off and um, you're not going to see them, so you may as well use them up. Then I'm using a piece of silver mirror card which measures four and a half squared. Now that I'm going to raise up a little bit with, I'm going to add that with dimensionals. I've got some dimension, I've got, I'm at the end of a piece here, so I'm just going to pop, oops, pop a piece in the middle to keep, to give it some lift. That's just the edge of that that I'm using. I thought I'd run out of dimensionals earlier on and then I found loads. I need to have another tidy up in my craft room. So that goes onto there. You can probably see all my filming equipment now. So I'll just put that there so it's not glaring you. And then I used a piece of this DSP that I just mentioned. And I'm going to glue that on. Oh, sorry. 
and that measures four and a quarter squared. Oh, whoops, nearly made a mistake. Before I put that on, I'm going to put this ribbon on. And this is just um, a half inch red grow, grow green ribbon. Whoops, nearly made my usual mistake there. I'm going to put that across the middle. I always forget to put my ribbon on. I think I've almost got it right. And then I'll do my usual and stick a bit of tape. To stop it coming off. And all these cards, I think what I'm going to do with them is either send them out as my Christmas racks or I'm going to donate them to a charity. Okay, so then pop that on on top of that mirrored card. Oh, I'm glad I put that um, the silver layer on a on a dimensionals now because it just looks just makes it stand up a little bit better. And then I'm going to. Get my sentiment which I've got Knight of Navy and then a mirror, silver mirror, and then I've got Merry Christmas, and I'm gonna pop a little um gem on there when I'm finished. So this Knight of Navy measures three by two and a half centimeters, so that's seven point six by six point four. The mirror card measures two and seven eighths by two and a quarter so that's seven point three by five point seven and then the little piece of whisper white measures two and five eighths by two and an eighth so that's seven point three by five point three and so I'm going to put these all on with dimensionals Just bear with me a minute while I sort that out. It'd help if I peel the backing off, wouldn't it? See, that's the way I roll. And so then that'll go on there. And then just before I attach it to the card, I'm going to get one of these gorgeous gems. And I'm just going to attach it. Let's attach two or just one. I don't even know if they look right. Sometimes, sometimes you have an idea and then you think, don't even look right. They don't even look right. I'm not even gonna put them on. They don't look right. So, shame and all that. I'm not very good when it comes to embellishments. Um, I think it's because I'm not a very embellishy type person. I just like things plain and simple and honest. Another bloomy fly. I thought I've seen the last of flies. And that's it. See how shimmery that is and beautiful. 
it's absolutely gorgeous and it's quite simple and I love it and that's what matters well it isn't actually because you don't give Christmas cards to yourself but well if I love it someone else will I can't be the only one with amazing taste and there we go so happy crafting with that one and I can't remember what that is is that number five number four I think in my little collection now so enjoy and I'll see you again soon bye bye